thousand years ago, there were people living here, and then suddenly, they were not. We're doing this? We're doing it. Going after Atlantis? One of the peak civilizations of its day, a city that disappeared overnight. They want to hear that there is evidence. It's part of some kind of civilization. This is Atlantean architecture. Do you see what I see? Atlantis Rising premieres Sunday at 9 on National Geographic. So, are we doing this? We're doing it. Going after Atlantis? I've got the boat, I've got, I've got the divers, the ROV, yeah. the team. Oh man, I gotta be there on that ship. I've never not been on the ship. I know you do, I know you it's do. It's killing me. So, right. I know you, I don't well, want to pull dude. you off and we need to strategize, yeah. so. Hey Maria, yeah. lunch. Okay, all right. Guys, let's take lunch. Look at some maps. Hey. There's three rules to archaeology. Location, location, location. If you're looking for a place that has specific coordinates, either in literature or in inscriptions, you go to that place. After years of research, he believes that the search for Atlantis begins beneath these waters. To find the lost city, he's gathered some of the best divers and marine archaeologists in the world. I have no doubt that there are vast areas that were once inhabited by people that are now hundreds of feet underwater. The evidence is really what people want to hear about. They don't want to hear about the theories, they don't want to hear about just geophysics. They want to hear that there is evidence, and they want to know what that evidence is. Plato is writing in a very specific time period. So when he says that Atlantis was located at the Strait of Gibraltar, he called them the Pillars of Hercules in his time, Every single mariner, every single Greek reader, every single person knew exactly where he was talking about. We're right in front of the Strait of Gibraltar, the Pillars of Hercules. You have to look right here.